Hi everyone, this is Sam from BoardAtWork.com and today we're looking at the LG G2 and G3. I'm going to walk you through both of these devices in order for you to make an informed decision on exactly why to upgrade from a G2 to a G3, especially given the fact that it's November and Black Friday is just around the corner. Now, um, right off the bat, the G2 came out in August of 2013 and the G3 in May of 2014. Now, both of these devices basically fold very similar design concepts. However, there are a few standouts here that you will want to keep, um, you know, pay attention to if, you de if you're looking to make that change or that jump from a G2 to a G3. So right off the bat, we're going to say both of these are running Android 4.42. Both of these devices are roughly the same um, size, well, should I say roughly the same thickness. However, you can tell right off the bat that on the right, the G3 is a lot bigger. The G2 has a 5.2 inch screen, whereas the G3 stays very solidly, or solidly, I should say, in the um, phablet space with a 5.5 inch display. Now, let's look, talk a little bit about the hardware. The hardware on the G2 basically is giving you the uh, Qualcomm 801 chip, and you can see, hey, it's, it is pretty snappy. However, the G3 is upgraded now to the Snapdragon 801, and that really is quite snappy. And the best way to illustrate this is I'm gonna try to basically turn both of these screens off at the same time. You can tell that the G3 is quite, uh, just a bit more responsive. That is basically in part to the fact that not only does this have a, uh, upgraded processor, the Snapdragon 801, it also has three gigs of um, three gigs of RAM as opposed to the two gigs on the G2. Now moving along, we'll jump over to the display. As I mentioned, the G3 is a 5.5 inch display, whereas the G2 is a 5.2 inch display. Now what stands out about the display, you can see it right on the screen. The G3 looks quite better than the G2. You can tell that the G2 looks a little washed out. Now, we're gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a perfect reason of why that's the case, because the G2, as you will be able, uh, as you know, is a 1920 by 1080 display. This is a, a HD display. Not bad. It's a pretty good display. However, we're looking at a 2560 by 1440 over here, making the G3 a 2K display. Now, you're packing a lot more pixels per inch at about 538 pixels, as opposed to about 420 on the G2. So there's about, you know, we're packing 100 more pixels per inch on the G3. So that's definitely something that stands out. And that basically shows, as you can see right here on the screen, you can tell that it's washed out between the water and the sky on the G2, whereas on the G3, you can clearly define the difference between the sky and the water. I don't know if that translates over in the video, but that is actually quite, um, you know, it, it, it delivers a more vibrant uh, feel for the G3. Now, we're gonna go ahead and also talk about you know, the amount, uh, the, the technology being used on both of these screens. Both of these screens follow the same technology of being IPS uh, LCD displays. So that is pretty similar in both of them. But keep in mind that if you're making a decision and if to upgrade based on just the uh, the quality of the screen alone, the G3 is a much better screen, uh, with a much better experience, gives you a much um, better, or should I say, a much more realistic representation of colors, leading itself, lending itself to be, you know, better if you're gonna be viewing a lot of um, content or a lot of photos on that screen. So here I'll say the G3, that's a big upgrade from the G2 to the G3. Now, let's keep going around the hardware. The camera is also a point where both of these device, um, devices really differ. They both have 13 megapixel cameras, given. But, we'll flip this around right now. You can tell the G2 has just a single flash. Whereas, we're talking about a dual flash system on the G3. Now, the G3's dual flash system actually you know, lends itself to taking, to taking more realistic colors at the end of the day with the dual flash system. The, uh, and also, because the G3 has a laser focus on it, 
you're now basically increasing or should I say reducing the amount of time that it's going to take for you to get that um, you know autofocus to take to snap that picture and with the dual flash you are snapping a much clearer picture especially in low light settings now the G2 has a 13 megapixel camera also has OIS which the G3 has but it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a, a, a uh, autofocus as fast as the G3 nor does it basically have um, the ability to do 4K video, if I have that right. Now, this would do a 1080p, um, the G2 would do a 1080p, whereas the G3 will, do, will take an output 4K. So that's another big difference between both of these devices. You can tell that this, the device in the G3, I should say, is a much it's basically a significant upgrade when it comes to the camera than the G2. The G2's camera was good, but the G3 takes it to the next level, making it a great camera to use, especially in low light settings. And you get truer colors, 4K, um, 4K uh, ge uh, content generation, so you can record in 4K and output at 4K. So that's actually pretty amazing from the G3. Now, other things to note about both of these devices is the fact that the G2, as I'll show you here, does not have a you know removable battery, which was something a lot of people complained about when the G2 originally came out. Now, the G3 has gone ahead and addressed this issue by basically making the case, the back cover removable. Now, both devices have quite the, the same size on batteries being 300 or 3000 um, milliamp hours on both of these devices. So that's basically something that stays the same. You're not getting a higher battery um, size, but you are getting an optimized uh, experience. Now, as you can see, basically this dev both of these devices are pretty fluid, right? Oh, sorry, just move that away. These are pretty fluid. But the UI has changed quite a bit. Now, the biggest thing you'll notice about the UIs here on both of these devices is that here you have a menu on, on the bottom right, although you have touch buttons on there, the bottom right button on the touch button gives you menu. Whereas here, it basically opens up your prior application. So it's, um, it gives you a list of the open apps. I can clear from there and we can go back. Now, all in all, these two devices are pretty amazing devices. However, you would basically note that from just the specs alone, that the G3 is a marked upgrade from the G2. Hey, Black Friday is around the corner, like I mentioned. If you're going to plunk down your hard-end dollars to get an LG phone and you're looking to make an upgrade, the G3 is definitely an upgrade that you should be considering. Uh, all in all, hey, this is the LG G2 and the LG G3, two amazing phones from two different um, eras of LG. And um, I'm Sam from borderwork.com. Enjoy your entertainment.